Have you wondered what there is to do in Belize? This is one of the many ports that you can get along a cruise ship itinerary. There are a lot of things to do here, but it is a long way over there. So let's go take a look and I'll show you guys how to get over there and what they have to offer. So today we spent in Belize and if you come in on a cruise ship, well, it's a little different because you have to park, as you can see here, so far away. And if you look out across there, that island right over there, yeah, well, that is Belize, that's where you go. So right now they just anchor out here in the middle of the ocean, but as you can see right over here in the distance, I don't know if you can see it very well, but right over in that area, they are building a, it looks like a cruise port. So they're gonna have some shopping areas and stuff there to where you can just get straight off of the ship into this little area. And then uh, you can take a tender if you want to over to the mainland. But that still looks like it's uh, you know a few years in the making. So hopefully within the next few years, that will be an option for you to where you don't have to go directly over to Belize. You can get off in the little cruise port area and do shopping without having to take a tender boat all the way over to the mainland. Now, when it comes to getting there and back, you do have to tender. Uh, which means that you have to get off of the ship onto a smaller vessel, a boat, that will take you over to the port area. When you get off the ship, this is a little bit of a process going down and getting on to the transport. It's about a 20 to 25 minute ride from where we docked over to the port where you get off on the mainland. Now you'll hear some people say it's 30, 40 minutes away, and I believe this all depends on where your ship anchors off on the shore. But I timed it from the time I got onto the vessel, left, so as soon as we departed, until we got there and docked, it was right at 20 minutes. So I would say anywhere from 15, because we had a couple carnival ships, as you can see, that are parked just a little bit toward the mainland and while we were here on Princess. So I would say it could be anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes, give or take a few, depending on where your ship decides to anchor off on the shore. Now, overall, Belize was a great area. Um, I hadn't been here before. I read a lot about it, did some research, trying to figure out what there was to do, what we wanted to do and we decided just to stay around the port area. The people were very friendly. We didn't have any issues at all. If, uh, of course, they come up to you like most all Caribbean areas and they wanna braid your hair, they want to sell you excursions, but I didn't find them pushy as you might find in other areas of the Caribbean. They came up, they offered it, they had a smile, they weren't pushy, you say no thanks, and they would tell you to have a great day, and you move on. And you might come across, of course, several more, on down the way but all you have to say is thanks but no thanks and just move on and they will leave you alone they're not chasing you around they're not pushy don't feel obligated to buy anything i saw several people talking uh, to some of the vendors and they were just giving them information they weren't trying to pressure them into buying anything people were asking questions the vendors were answering them and i did not feel like there was any pressure just listening to the conversations i would say that if you come here and you just want to get off the ship into the port area just to enjoy some shopping then by all means go right ahead so today we chose not to do an excursion. However, there are several excursions that you can take, but most of them are located on in the mainland, which means that you're going to have to take a bus and a lot of times it can be some distance to get there. Now, one of the uh, most sought after excursions is the cave tour. You have to hike back into the jungle area and you tube through the cave where you can see some bats and different wildlife, cave crickets, all while floating on a raft. They do have a lot of other excursions to offer, including snorkeling, dolphin encounters, and different activities that you can go do away from the port. Now, I have to say, I would book these through a reputable company. Don't just get somebody off the street. If you wanna go in there and you find somebody and you wanna take the chance, go right ahead. The reason I say this is if you get a good reputable company, either through 
the cruise line or somebody say like Viator or somebody like that that been around for a long time, they know when to get you back to the ship. They will try their best or make sure that you will not miss your ship departing on your departure time. Some of these other companies, they try and they may be they may do just fine. And if it's something that you're worried about, I would make sure that you stick with a reputable company either through the cruise line or somebody like by a tour or another company that has been around for a while to make sure that you get back on time and to make sure that you get what you pay for. I know some of the concerns about Belize is safety and we did not feel unsafe at all, especially if you stay within the cruise port area. Now, I wouldn't recommend going off and adventuring on your own unless you've been here and you are experienced in these cultures. I didn't feel unsafe at all, and I've got my wife and daughter with us, but we just stayed within the cruise port area. Normally we get out and adventure, but there was nothing that we really were interested in as far as excursions. So we decided just to stay around the port and do some shopping. Now they do have a lot of shopping opportunities here. There are shops everywhere in Belize, and you know, really the prices are fairly reasonable in comparison to other cruise port areas. Now, if you want to do some shopping, they have uh, lots of souvenirs, lots of gift shops. If you want to experience the culture and the cuisine of Belize, they even have several restaurants located down the pier that you can eat in. And they also have some local craft beer for sale, and it's really not unreasonable for the beer prices either. I think they were $253 a piece and you could sample some of those. And of course I did because you know, I, if you've watched any of my other videos where I talk about craft beer, I like to try it in the different countries that I've been just to see how it compares to back home. So that was our day in Belize and I thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next adventure.